Hey guys, uh, we'll be discussing the overhead squat today. And this is our most challenging squat variation that we have. It requires really strong midline stability. Um, and it uh, is actually kind of challenging for people that have poor shoulder mobility. And uh, sometimes, just a warning, if you do this movement with any type of weight, you might start to feel a little bit of tingling sensation or a loss of sensation in your fingers or hands. And again, this is just kind of the, a general problem that most people live their daily lives in this kind of anterior shoulder position. So when we ask you to get your shoulder big and open in the overhead squat, it might give you a little bit of impingement throughout your shoulder. So be, be wary of that. It's not abnormal. It just means that we need to work on opening your shoulder up, getting your shoulders back into a more normal, uh, neutral position instead of that kind of forward, you know, typing position that so many people have. Okay, that being said, you can practice with a PVC pipe. I'm gonna show you today how to do weight out of a rack. Um, when we get the weight up, we're gonna have a wide grip with the bar, okay? And the idea here is that when we squat with any barbell movement, we're gonna keep that bar over the middle of the foot. So as I squat with the bar over my head, I need to have my shoulders wide enough that I can pull the bar back and open the shoulder up and keep that bar in position. If I bring my hands in narrow like this and try to do an overhead squat, as I squat, I'm not gonna be able to get the bar back where I need it. It's gonna fall forward, okay? So make sure, depending on your mobility, it will depend on how wide your grip goes, but also, in that there's a kind of a sweet spot where it lowers the bar to a, a nice center of gravity, allowing you to have a good, good base as you squat, okay? So, taking the bar out of the rack, we're gonna come right in the center of the bar, stand straight up with it, take one big step back in the rack, and once it's here, we're gonna find our grip. Okay? I've done this before, so I know where it is. It takes a little bit of practice to find that, that good spot. And from here, we're gonna jump it up overhead. You can do a push press, a push jerk, or a split jerk if it's really heavy. Right? Once that bar is up overhead though, you want to drive the shoulders up in the ears, pull the bar apart, activating as much shoulder as you can, stabilizing the bar overhead, get in that squat stance, and squat. Keep that bar over the middle of the foot, you should feel balanced at the bottom, okay? You shouldn't be fighting for it, falling forward, nice middle position, good depth, stand back up, readjust, keep the bar over the middle of the foot, okay? And squat, and stand. Okay? You gotta keep your stomach super tight during this. You don't wanna be all wobbly in the midline. So take a big breath, tight stomach, hold it. And exhale at the top. Okay, we're bringing the bar down. If it's light enough, you can catch it with the back, lowering it to the knees, just like this. Okay? Um, if it's super heavy, don't risk dropping it on your neck. Rather, just drop it on the ground and uh, you and someone else can help pick it up. Okay? So, that's about it for the overhead squat. Uh, again, it's very challenging, so start nice and easy. Get the motion dialed in correctly before you start adding too much weight. Um, and that's it. Have fun with it. See you tomorrow, or today. <laughs>